as we've discussed earlier, when I am striking my back, the back is a placeholder for striking the opponent. So be it that I'm striking this side or this side, it is a placeholder for bouncing off to uh, in the reverse direction of what I was hitting. So if we look at the first basic, which goes one and two, then it could be that I'm striking Kesa, which I'm striking at a diagonal here, but as I impact there, I bring it around and I hit that side, it comes back and I can do another strike. So you have this strike that impacts here, that could impact my opponent, You've got the uh, overhead strike that impacts here, and since it's hitting this side and then coming down again, it could easily mean that it comes back, and at this point here, I'm either catching, swapping, and I'm ready to strike with the other hand. So, if we look at that basic, we can go one, two, and start over again. And start over or if we want to start adding the other hand to it one two and we're ready one two and we're ready one over and bring it back one over bring it back so the idea is kind of that you get used to strikes Bouncing off and being able to control it. Right, play around with that a bit and then come back for the second basic. So if we look at the second basic, which is Kesa Uch and an upward strike, we're looking at Kesa Uch striking there as a placeholder, or my back as a placeholder for that impact there and bringing it back. And as the placeholder here loops around and strikes up and impacts here we're looking at that bouncing and then swapping so we're going to work on one hand for now so we're going to strike it will bounce off from that up it will bounce off from that and we bring to the other hand let's look at that again so it's one bounce off two and swap one two and swap one two swap So be able to control solid strikes and also be able to then continue from hand to hand. Right. Once you've played around with that against the bag a bit, come back. Let's look at basic number three. When we look at the next basic, which was push the opponent away find space to strike, and then go on the attack. What we are looking at is, as we press our opponent away from us to create space here, we are using that space and backwards to create more space for more momentum to impact the opponent. So from here, one, two, and we're ready. Now, if the bag would be moving backwards from that point on, we'd be going on the attack until one of the strikes impact and we need to recoil to our back. So it could be this side recoiling, it could be this side recoiling, it doesn't matter. Whichever side recoils, I need to be able to control. So again, we find ourselves uh, in a bit of a crowded position, we're stabbing, we're punching, we're knee kicking, we press the opponent away, and we create some space. One more time, let's look at it from here. Create space and impact as the opponent moves away. We're attacking, we continue with a figure eight, attacking forward. Right, so that's more or less what that application is supposed to teach us. Let's get to the next one. Let's use the low kick bag um, to work on our next basic which is I am moving out the way, striking, and then attacking. So if we kind of maybe impact both bags here, 
The one is definitely an attack for the legs. So as I'm moving out the way, I'm doing a low strike and whatever I hit, great. And as I pull it through, there's my next strike. Might be two opponents, but it, I can also strike the belt here. So one, and there's my attack. So let's look at that again. I move out the way, and then I'm gonna attack higher. So I'm doing my Kesauch again, because that's what I'm aiming for. I want to connect this to this. So if you understand this part, then you'll also understand that if I've struck through here, that's my next attack. So from here, one, two. One, two, and if I need, I can control it. So that if I need to continue, I can, or if I've missed, I'm ready with the other hand. Whatever the scenario is, you need to have control of your nunchaku after impact or if you miss. So just again, this part is attacking low, and then from there, that part attacking high. Have fun. Our next basic had to do with stabbing, trapping. So a little bit difficult against the dummy. Um, and a little bit dangerous against the human. So uh, let's see if, if you can understand from what I'm showing here. One is that whatever happens in this position, I need to be controlling the limbs, I'm fighting with a person, I might be hitting, I might be stabbing, whatever happens to distract my opponent from what, uh, what I'm planning. So from here, once I've done a distracting technique, I'm going to bring the nunchaku around the neck, I'm going to use my right hand to try and lock that neck in place. And then from here, if you imagine I'm pulling this with, I'm going to step and I'm going to pull the neck over my shoulder. It's a bit difficult with a solid concrete block at the bottom. So again, there might be a couple of strikes happening. I'm clearing. I see an opening. I attack, trap, turn, and throw. So that is more or less what this movement in the kata, in your third kata, would mean. So practice that a bit. Be careful if you're working with a partner. The neck is very sensitive, so you don't want to go and clench this too hard. But explore and have fun.